Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 30 of my lower league management playthrough in Football Manager 2016 with FC United. Today uh, we have a FA Cup game to kick off this episode against Bradford PA who are currently 11th in the league and we have dropped down to 6 unfortunately because we did lose that game against AFC Fylde. I did rotate the team a little bit so we can play our best starting 11 uh, for this game here today. Much more important. Uh, you can see Joe Kearns getting a go. Ben Clark coming in. Dan Ball coming in left back. Tom Brown. O'Driscoll. Uh, Brooksby still playing. Uh, attackers remaining the same uh, kind of but James Caton coming in. Uh, Henry Collins. He hasn't really been starting so much as well. So yeah we did have to rotate it a bit but uh, going into the big one today it's important to win when playing away from home so definitely we have to play a good team and then we've got Chester a week later it's a decent break so I reckon we can get a decent results in this episode I hope so anyway as you can see majority of uh, the best players Minahan I'm thinking I could sub him uh, maybe he plays a good 60 or 70 minutes and we've got Dan Ball who come in or even Ryan Rainey uh, they've got some options to come on because of the seven subs in the cup uh, which is very important and I'd like to advance a few rounds I think we have got that quality now obviously we did lose the last game but the season as a whole it's been pretty decent but last last couple of games um, have been look last game was only three days later so we did have to rotate the team a little bit and that was showing but I did say in the last episode didn't I that I think our squad depth is good uh, maybe I did rotate a little bit too much. Even Carnell, I'll bring Carnell back in and he should uh, do well in goals. And I'll just show you with Carnell again. He's still got those really good attributes, like 14 reflexes, 12 one-on-ones, 14 handling. I look at those as really strong attributes to have as a goalkeeper. Uh, so, yeah, pretty strong for this level, uh, his quality. Uh, and you can still see a lot of players uh, not really breaking through into the starting 11 or the match day squad, not even on the subs bench. Uh, but that's, again, what it comes with the rotations. Guys who played the last game, a lot of them are there, like Danny Ratchy, you got Katz in there as well. So uh, Joe Kearns, uh, yeah, Joe Kearns and Henry Collins, there's like so many players. So you need that for rotation purposes. So hopefully we can come in. Also, Sam Walker, he was actually suspended for the last game, picking up a lot of cards. But I'm confident going into this game, uh, we can get the victory and advance and press on. And I think this could be the season for that, for some cup runs in the FA Cup and FA Trophy. I'd like to think so anyway. So we'll, uh, we'll leave no opposition instructions uh, for this game today. And we'll go assertively or I'll say calmly. I'll say calmly, actually. I'll say, come on, lads, show me what you can do. Obviously, saying that in a calm way, then we'll say calmly to match that. I believe you've got what it takes. Billy Simpson looking to gain confidence. And then with the midfielders, I'll say the same as well. Yeah, a couple of them extremely delighted. And again, with the striker for Melbourne, he is looking happy. I reckon this is an important part of the season for Melbourne. He started the season fairly well, scored a few goals. But then if he doesn't score uh, consistently, maybe for the next month or so, it might just be one of those seasons where yeah, he doesn't score exactly consistently what we need in a striker. And it's going to be hard to find that. Now we've got Wolfenden, hasn't been doing so well of late. And of late, I mean, last couple of seasons. But Jafet Mata makes the bench today. And I'm sure all you guys want to see him in action. Haven't really used him yet in a lot of games I've played that you haven't seen at the same time. So I'm interested to see how he goes. But Malbon, he's he's okay. He knows how to score. Uh, but unfortunately, we haven't created anything at all. Once again, 30 minutes in, I'll say demand more. Demand more, of course. We haven't really shown... I know we're playing away from home, but I'd like to think we can show a bit more than this. Okay, first highlight, 33 minutes in. I don't mind it sometimes as positives and negatives because it makes the video um, not as long <laughs> when maybe one... Ga oh, no. What kind of header is that? If they're going to score from that, fire, you're lucky, mate. <laughs> like, I'm serious. Oh, that's really disappointing. Um, even if they didn't score, that's just a really bad error because they do have a corner now. And luckily, Simpson defended that. But you'd like to think, well, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> oh, no, come on. Hopefully, we can defend this. It's Gibson. It's Hendricks. It's Duffus now. Come on. This is good. But I still feel they're going to create a chance. We're going to have to win this back. And we're pressuring them well. Uh, but I know a ball is going to come. Marshall to Hetherington. It's Bowerman now. Hendricks. 
Oh, Minahan did so well. Maybe we could have a... No, we, we keep giving it away. And it's going to lead to a chance. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I stopped myself from swearing there. Well done. Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. This is not good. This is not good. I, I just can never seem to have a good run in cups. Uh, I just always seem to get knocked out because... Ugh. Where even in a season that we are doing well and players are brought in, we've showed so far this season in the league, uh, we're probably going to fight for a playoff place, uh, judging how the season has gone so far. But it's just in the cups always. It's just a one. It's not one specific thing. It's always one thing or another uh, that we end up losing. But we'll go aggressively. I expect to see a much better showing. Like we have everything going well or look to be going well. Uh, maybe a bit of bad form coming off the last game, if, if anything, a bit, and because I rotated the team a lot, a lot of players playing today didn't play the last game, but you do have to rotate the squad or players are going to get injured, that's normal, but I'd like to see a much better second half here, oh no, we get an injury to Brooksby, Brooksby's injured, that is not good at all, oh, we're going to have to bring on Matty Wolfenden, and yeah, Brooksby, I'll have to say he hasn't been amazing, he hasn't been killing it, but he plays an important position because he's clearly better than any other right winger that we do have, especially for inside forwards. So uh, you can see Wolfenden, he'll come on. But again, you know, in recent times, he's still natural as a right winger. So I hope he can put in a decent performance. We know he can score. So playing at a striker, well, last couple of seasons, he hasn't. It was the first season he dominated. Melbourne, you got to finish. Oh, no way, mate. How crap? How crap are you? Wow. That should have been a goal. That should have been a goal. Seriously. Fuck. That's... What are you doing? What are you doing? One-on-one -on -one opportunity. You have to finish that. You're dragged right away. Let's bring on Jafet Mata. And hopefully he will be able to do something... Uh, Sam Walker hasn't... I'll leave Jack Phillips. I've got to have our best players and we'll bring on uh, O'Driscoll. Yeah, we'll bring him on. He's a talented kid and hopefully he can show that today. Hopefully he can do something. Still got 30 minutes remaining. We've created enough chances to score. We should... There's a good chance we could have had more than a goal. Maybe two. We've had a few clear-cut chances. Well, there's... Yeah, we've got three clear-cut chances to one. Our players just oh, haven't finished. Come on now, this time... Phillips can't even pass. O'Neill. O'Neill. Oh my God! What are you doing, Walker? That's why you're going to be off. You can't even pass. Phillips, Malbon, Walker. Come on, this time for sure. O'Neill. What are you doing? You can't touch Wolfenden. That is so lucky. That piece of play was absolutely rubbish, but we managed to score. Some passing in the midfield was horrendous, and a couple of them are going off. So, just wake up! Who was that cunt? Fucking Walker. Yeah, that's why you're going off. You're half asleep. You're half asleep, mate. I've no idea how we scored there. That It is beyond me how we scored. That's the worst piece of play ever that I've scored from, but I'll take it. But now I'm going to say passionately, I'm going to say concentrate because I don't want to concede a stupid goal. But not too long ago, I can't remember what game it was, I said concentrate and we conceded right away. So I'm not sure. <laughs> but we're going to see what happens here. Is it going to happen again? No. No, come on. Concentrate, like I said. This is not concentrating. What am I saying? Am I saying the wrong thing? Concentrate. That is not concentrating. That is being shit. Fuck, man. Because I'm mad because we just got the goal. Get the ball, Harris. Surely. Oh, my God. This is so frustrating. Because I want to go on a cup run for, obviously, the money. The money will be so good, even though we're in a good place already. But I want to go on a run. But we're not showing anything like how we've played this season. That's, oh, we've had chances, sure, and, um, like, it summed it up with the goal we scored. The way we played, building up, was terrible. Okay, assertively, demand more. Oh, we don't even deserve to win this, actually. My players deserve to lose this. But we're going to have a chance. Wolfenden, can he save us? Come on, you got to score that! you got to score that! O'Driscoll! 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not sure why I'm extra. It's just cup. It's, it's because it's the cup and obviously, yeah, going in a cup run is very good. And there's still opportunity for us to get an equalizer, funnily enough. Because, see, we have had a lot of opportunities. O'Driscoll. Oh, what a ball that is. That's amazing. To Saeed Mata. Here he is. Shafet Mata scores his first goal on debut as well. First game he's had for us. Well, with all the craziness in this game, we can somehow advance, funnily enough, and not get knocked out. But that ball, the two part, that was perfect there. The ball from O'Driscoll to Saeed and the cross by Saeed and the finish uh, from Jafet Mata uh, was excellent, really. And his positioning more so. That's well, Look, we had six clear-cut chances. Wow. I've never been as frustrated as this before for just being a draw in a match. <laughs> it's crazy. So there was about 50 seconds when this highlight started. So I think there could be an opportunity. Well, if Carnell hurries up, yeah. <laughs> okay, O'Neal. No. Oliver wins it back. Put the pressure on Gibson here. He could make an error, maybe. 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 Oh, no. They deal with it really well under pressure. How about that? <laughs> that was really well dealt with. But it looks like it's going to end... And uh, It's going to end a draw. 2-2. Two, two. And it is, uh, that is full time, 2-2. Uh, Away from home, I suppose drawing is not terrible. I say passionately, what a comeback. That was a good comeback, so at least they can get some good morale off of that. And we can play this next game at home, and then uh, we can maybe win it. But if we play like that, well, we're going to have to be a bit, a bit lucky. We <laughs> have to be a bit lucky once again. Our second goal we scored was great, though. The first one was a bit lucky, because the passing, the build-up... Uh, was not great at all. And bro, whoa, whoa, Brooksby, two to three months. Oh, what do we, I might as well speak about the injury. I'll say, don't worry about your injury. I know things can be frustrating. I'll just say that. And he gets a good reaction. But that's a big injury. And he's an important player, even though he hasn't killed it this season, as I mentioned. But he's been a good player. He's been an important part of the team. He hasn't been terrible. He's almost gotten a seven average rating from 11 starts without scoring a goal. So he's been, his actual performance just passing well and everything like that. So we're going to have to uh, go for a replacement. Well, not sign a new player, but yeah, look for someone else to step up. But Jafet Mata, should he be starting? Uh, give him a go in the next game. Uh, we're going to have to see how far away is the next game. It is four days later. Okay, we're not going to be playing against Chester. That's just here yeah, somehow, uh, yeah, sometimes how it goes. So... Hopefully, we can do it against Bradford PA at home this time. So, guys, we're going to be moving straight into the replay now against Bradford PA, of course. And I'd like to think uh, we can put in a better performance and win. Uh, like, uh, Considering we didn't lose uh, when we played that bad and also being away from home, I'd like to think if we can play like a normal game like we have this season in the league uh, for the most part, the majority of our games, uh, we should be able to win this year. So rotating a bit, Danny Ratchie coming in for Sean O'Neill. He's 85% condition. If anything, might need to work on that. Stamina is only 8 and natural fitness only 10. So uh, that's where he's going to be a negative, I suppose. Won't be fit for every single game we play. But I want to keep this starting team. Uh, we've got Chester three days later, but like this is a must, uh, advancing in the FA Cup. We've got a great opportunity at home now, but Jafet Mata is going to be starting. He scored on his debut coming off the bench, and hopefully his starting debut in front of the fans, he'll be able to do something a bit more, uh, score another goal potentially, win us the game. We'll see what he can do. Let's do it for the fans. Maybe that will give him some motivation. There we go, Sam Walker. Maybe he'll do a bit better today with that kind of reaction being a bit more confident but yeah last game he played he just got in the way a lot with passes just wasn't aware and just all that kind of thing so I'm really excited Jafet Mata he came on and scored he's that kind of type you get excited about as well the type of player he is so uh, we'll have to see uh, if he can perform for us but we did uh, drop out our other striker definitely not good enough from Melbourne and again there's not too much highlights so I'm not sure if it's a recent update I'm not sure if the game even updated recently but, yeah, not many highlights. On Again, I'll just prove to you. I'm playing on key highlights, but there isn't, there isn't much at all. Nothing. So, again, 35 minutes. We'll say assertively, show some passion. 
See, I'm not sure if it's my team actually. Well, if you look at the match stats, both teams haven't had many chances at all. So that could be a thing as well. So Minahan. Oh, plays it in. Come on. Let's get the ball back. Finish. Wolfenden. Oh, ho, ho. this Fisher. He's all right. He can make some good saves. He did in the last game and he did there as well. Important. Um, whoa, I really thought we could have scored there as well. It was a good opportunity. But Wolfenden, I think he's at least finding his feet. How does Andy Fisher look? Anyway, well, he's not over the top. He's decent. He's a young. He's a youngster. So I think he could develop to be a decent goalkeeper at this level, at the very least. With those attributes, Ratchy, you gotta, you gotta finish that. He had the space originally. And Asai, come on. Oh, we're wasting these opportunities. This is not good. Late in the first half would be good uh, to sneak a goal, but it's, oh my God, it's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. Even though, yeah, just a couple chances. Uh, only three shots in total, so definitely not dominating, but I'll go assertively again, and I'm not happy with the performance. You can tell that from my voice. I'm not pleased at all, aren't I? Okay, now they've got a corner. Oh, no, don't concede like this. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Good save, car. Now it just bobbled to him, thankfully. Maybe a bit lucky there. So, again, it's wasted. Obviously, not going to lead to anything, but... Okay, another corner here. Come on. Oh, we are lucky. Had a player on the line there. Did really well in Minahan, uh, as expected, anyway. Disappointed that uh, Jafet Mata hasn't done too much. Uh, Bradford, they're actually... Oh, I don't know, in recent games, I haven't been that good. Uh, like the last league game I played and these two games here today, we've dropped off a little bit and it's weird because our tactic is only becoming more fluid. It's not even 100% yet. It's very, very close to being so. Wolfenden uh, put Rico Gomez. He hasn't played for a while, hasn't he? Just to update you what he looks like and his attributes. He's a pretty balanced. He's got decent long shots crossing his finishing isn't the best but as a support role inside forward maybe you could create something and not 100% sure well I'd like to think he could uh Muhammad Saeed uh Wolfenden's the only real player that could have played there so he's probably gonna have to stick it out but Jaffet Mata hasn't done well We're gonna have to rely on the beast that is Henry Collins but he hasn't been a beast so far this season only scored a couple his beard is coming along well maybe he's focusing too much on that you cannot have a beard that thick when you are 17 that is not possible. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I think I'll leave those changes for now. And we'll see. Rico Gomez, your ability to make a difference. And Henry Collins will say pressure off. Don't forget, he's still a youngster as well. Another youngster. He's, you can't rely. That's the problem when you're relying on a young player to be your key striker. Maybe that's why... Well, he hasn't had so many chances this season. I think, yeah, he missed a couple chances. Then I just wanted to rotate the strikers a bit. But <laughs> are we go oh, this will be terrible for the next game against Chester. A lot of our better players not playing. So I might save a sub. We'll have to see what happens here. I hope we can score. It'll be terrible for our next game, which is really important. Ratchy, get in there. Come on, win it. There we go. Saeed, take this. Gomez. Oh, we just can't. We cannot do it. I want to go to win the game. You can think about maybe making a late sub if it does go into extra time. But not nah, Ratchy to come off and to bring on Sean O'Neill. Again, just to show his profile. Look at his attributes. Mentally, he's pretty strong. Uh, yeah, he's really well well balanced. But he's only 16. Very, very young. You're like, you've got a guy like Sean O'Neill, Henry Collins, Saeed on loan. Very young players in the team. Not just young, I say young players, maybe like a Minahan type or Billy Simpson, like 20, 21, 22. These guys like 16 and 17, so that's very young. So I'll say, again, pressure's off. But we know he's one of he's been one of the better players, if not the best in the team this season. Come on, okay, this has to be the opportunity for us. Phillips, O'Neill, oh, Collins, how did you not get that? It was straight to you, wasn't it? But Simpson, I, I like Simpson as a centre-back, I reckon... He, at least he and Harris, well, we've got a few other centre-backs is rotating a bit, but they could forge a centre-back partnership. Collins, oh, come on, put the pressure on them so he can win it back. It's Walshaw, and he just gives it away. So still could be opportunity here, Simpson. He's a guy that always does something right, just like a composed pass there to Carnell. Good pass, Carnell. O'Neill, Collins, this has to be it surely now. Collins, Collins, Walker! How good is this Fisher keeper? He's really, really good. 
That was, it wasn't the best strike. It was on target, though, near post. Good effort. Our defense has been uh, pretty good. It's been better than their defense, at least. Oh, no, we're going to be going into extra time. I, I, I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy because our next game is crucial and a lot of our players are going to be dead. A lot of our key players as well. Not dead, literally, but in terms of the fitness, uh, I'm not sure if we can play them. And that's going to be tough because if we get a negative result, if we don't at least get a draw, but I wanted to maybe try and win it. Uh, to catch up to the team that's first. But anyway, we can still come out with a win uh, tonight. Okay, a lot of players gaining confidence. That is a good thing. Uh, I wouldn't want to leave it to luck of the penalties, especially even more so down to luck in lower league management in the first few seasons in the conference because a lot of the players are not great penalty takers. Uh, but that's the way it goes, I suppose. Now, Fisher. Oh, he's impressed me though, Fisher. I want to keep <laughs> my tabs on him. Uh, maybe scout him. I've talked about in last episode, didn't I? About something about the keepers uh, that we really have had the same keepers come on, and they haven't been bad. Like Carnell is a solid keeper. Already showed you with his attributes, he's got some decent ones. So I'm pretty confident in him uh, to be all right. Like he's a decent keeper. So Oliver, oh no, he's going to put the cross in. Oh no, that sums up that goal perfectly. <laughs> oh no crosses in fm mate especially fm 16 just why oliver like we should have dealt with that better look L what was that minahan you got it your head to it but you hardly headed it well oh you got to get it out of the box at least come on Generally, keeping it in the box is a good thing, but not on this occasion. O'Neill, oh my god, what is this passing? So, Walker to O'Neill. <laughs> Our passing sometimes, especially in this episode, we've had some... But maybe that means it's going to lead to a goal, <laughs> like the last game, yeah? Who knows? O'Neill, win the header. It's Saeed to find Phillips. Walker, okay, this is a good build-up. O'Neill. Collins, Gomez, Gomez, oh my god, what an effort, that build-up play was great, and the strike wasn't terrible at all, it, it beat the keeper, but it could not beat the post, oh no, and we're getting a fair share of possession, the game's been even though, I'm not gonna lie, the game's been even, oh my, Maybe a bit of a team talk. What are we going to say? We'll say assertively encourage. Maybe to give them some confidence. I don't even know. And that that's the worst outcome. Us having to play extra time and not really, yeah, getting the result. It's just oh, a waste. Oh, no. They've got a free kick. Hopefully we can win this encounter. Come on, please. Please. Oh, no. That's going to be the highlight because I was on target. Fuck. It's, oh, it's too late to do something. I'll just say push forward. But, yeah, push forward. Look at all the players that are dead. So this is not very good for the next game. But that means the next game I am... Yeah, I'm going to play that off camera because I've already played, like, the last two episodes uh, within just one game of each other that I just won. I played off camera. So, ah, oh, yeah, maybe that could have been a chance. Who knows? Disappointing. Oh, very disappointing. <sighs> aggressively wasn't good enough but our defend look at the ratings we played well it looks like the majority of players did well but again it just it didn't fall our way unfortunately so guys we're just going to leave it here we do have some important games coming up especially the chester one at home but as i said yeah i'm going to probably have to play a run of off camera games now where are we maybe to yeah the fa trophy because again another cup game even though chester that will be a big game uh but unfortunately being realistic we're probably going to lose it uh or definitely struggle to win as you can see uh those conditions and it's only three days away so i'm not very excited to play that game will be one of those games that i'm not really excited like i just said i'm not really excited to play it so i just want to get it over and done with and maybe if you can get a point from it uh, we'll be very lucky you know one of those games you just want to get into and get it done and press on that's what it feels like at the minute anyway because i know it's going to be a tough one but anyway drop a like if you enjoy this series and you want to see more subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the very next episode